Japanese determination to hunt whales has seen them travel as far south as Antarctica. They were exploiting a loophole in international rules which permitted whaling for scientific research, even though the whale meat was eaten. But the Japanese government has long tried to convince the International Whaling Commission to lift its ban on commercial hunting. Having failed to do so, it's decided to quit the organization. We have sought resolution to resume sustainable commercial whaling for over 30 years. However, there was no concession made from the countries which only focus on whale conservation. Regrettably, we have reached a decision that it's impossible in the IWC to seek the coexistence of states with different views. Environment Secretary Michael Gove criticised the decision, saying the UK is strongly opposed to commercial whaling and will continue to fight for the protection and welfare of these majestic mammals. Japan joins Norway and Iceland, which had really decided to ignore the IWC in order to set its own rules on how many whales could be killed. The minke whale is the most commonly hunted, but fin and say whales are also taken. The Japanese have a quota to hunt 503 minke whales a year and take at least that number. That compares to the Norwegians who permit up to 1,278, but actually killed 454 this year. And the Icelanders who have a quota of 262 but only hunted six. The increasing popularity of whale watching has provided an alternative source of revenue. Conservation groups have accused the Japanese of becoming a pirate nation by abandoning international rules. It's a snub to the international community when the UN requires that countries cooperate to manage marine resources. Um, most of the world wants to use whales in a humane, sustainable way, and that's whale watching in the 21st century. And that can't happen uh, sustainably in the long term if some countries go off and, and carry on killing them in, in awful, inhumane ways. The Japanese government says in future, whalers will stick to their own territorial waters. Hunting in the Southern Ocean had led to violent clashes with conservationists. The Sea Shepherd organization actually welcomed the Japanese decision as it ends the pretense of hunting for research. I think it's a very positive development. What this means is there will be no whaling in the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary. It means that the IWC will be able to pass the motion to establish the South Atlantic Whale Sanctuary. It ends whaling in the Southern Hemisphere, and that is a good thing. The Japanese have always argued that there is an appetite in the country for eating whale, though there's been a huge decline in how much is consumed. Ian Woods, Sky News.